What is going on, Death Squad? How are you flipping doing today? Yes, it is the new week, and we have a story set. So, ladies and gentlemen, put your blog belts on. We're going to sit back, relax, and we're going to go through everything that is new in the store today. If you're not part of the Discord, the link is in the description down below. And for some reason, all my settings have been reset, and I'm getting subtitles on the screen. So, I need to fix that and actually go back through my controller settings, um, because there's quite a lot I need to change. And also... I do randomly go live on twitch.tv. The link is in the description. I'm not too sure when I'll next be going live, uh, but if you are obviously part of the Twitch or following it, you should get a notification or press the notification. It's completely up to you. But regardless, uh, what we are here for is to show you the store today. And we've got another video coming out soon because if you look up in the top right-hand corner of your screen, the Mooncake Regatta. Approach St. Anne's Shipwright to learn about the new event unlocked by Infamy Tier 4. And I'll be going over that today in the video and what is new on this week or in the, during this week. Yeah. And, well, yeah. Let's look at that blimmin' store. So here we are, ladies and gentlemen, in the brand new store of the week. Well, we're not. We're loading into the brand new store of the week. There we go. We are in it. And we can see here we've got the mid-autumn at see cosmetics now we are seeing multiple here but what i want you to pay attention to is that pearl drop that you're seeing at the top so we can see that obviously we've got the smuggler pass token silver and gold and then we got this like pearl drop that's happening uh, and then you can see above that ship you got 2000 on the last one as well you got 500 now what does that mean well that means you do not actually have to buy it with gold and with real uh, real life currency you can actually get that by doing the moon race regatta so do not spend real money on these if you do not have to and you've got the time to actually go ahead and compete in this race but let's go and show you the set so if we come straight into the set we're inspired by the tale of love loss and sacrifice it's uh basically the sail color that we got there the immortal blood we've got the lucky spirit emblem we have got the sail pattern now if we toggle it nighttime we can see that there is a glow as well with the color <coughs> excuse me the lantern bearer the figurehead uh, pretty darn cool actually i do like it if we explore uh, effects we can see when it's in combat it does like blossom uh, then we've got the whole color as well and uh, we've got the harmonious latices the ornaments around the side we have got the immortal branch as well helm dot decor that you see on top of the ship moving over we have got our first aura in the game that we can actually purchase it's like a mist that goes around your ship and this is the mid autumn sakura an aura celebrate unity and togetherness reactive trigger upon boss kill so you have to kill a boss for it to become active which is pretty weird to me and um, because i personally would want this to either be fully active or combat active not only upon boss kill active because in that sense, what is the point? Because I'm not really going to be able to appreciate it at all times. So it's a lot of money for something that I'm only going to see for brief moments. Now, yeah, I am to explore it. So I'm not too sure if it will be active for a longer period of time. Uh, maybe it stays active after you've killed a boss until you log out of the game. I'm not too sure. Here we go. We've got Over the Moon as well, which is a firework blessed by the heavens and free to frolic. You can see there's a bunny sitting in the firework there. We've got the Lady of the Moon as well with the fireworks. She looks down from the clouds watching over her love. This one can obviously also be purchased with Pearl Drops. 500 of them, so you can get it for free just by participating in the race. Now, I'm still getting Advertiser Premium Pass bundle. I'm not going to be getting it. I've already got the Premium Pass. I don't need the extra 15 tokens. And if I wanted extra 15 tokens, I can actually get them because there's no actual extras in this you can buy tokens for 100 gold each so that'd be 1500 so you could either purchase this just for that or you can go ahead and buy them yourself pretty up to you there's no actually benefits for getting the better version which obviously some games have got that and we've got the flaming fury that was here last week as well it's a pretty cool looking set um, and now we can see this week as well we have got a 10 percent premium pass discount applied as well so if you have got the premium pass you get 10 percent off as well which is a bonus to all of these stuff um, i'm going to flick through this one i'm not going to go through it and explain everything because obviously we've already seen it. so there's a hat there is the torso there is the body cosmetic there is the necklace there is the braces there is the hands there is the belt there's the pants there is the shoes and there's the sail color which is pretty darn awesome uh, I do like this. However, they do really glow during the day and not at night. We got the emblem. We got the sail pattern. We got the crow's nest. We have got the reactive figurehead, which glows as the way you're seeing it when you are in combat. 
Then we've got the whole color. And if we turn it to night, you can see all of the eyes of the ornaments along the side actually glow. Then we've got the abyssal nameplate. We've got the wheel. Now I do think obviously that ornament right at the back there that we see with the skull is pretty flipping awesome. We've got the wheel. Even in death, their gaze never wavers. Then we've got the helm decor. We've got the Mars trophy. We got the crew skin, and then we have got the, the firework, which is the Eye of Sauron. I don't even care. You, you can say it's not. That is definitely the Eye of Sauron. Um, and yeah, if you go down for some reason, we can look at it all again. But we can go along the whole collection that way. Right, so now we're on the Sung Wukong fleet. This was in the last season, but we have got it returned. You've got the torso. You've got the hat. You've got the necklace. You've got the braces. You've got the hands. You've got the belt. You've got the pants. You've got the shoes. You got the sail color with no glow. We've got the emblem. We got the sail pattern. We got the crow's nest. We got the figurehead. Yet again, the only glow is a fair, like very, very light glow that obviously comes off of the eyes and uh, whatever that is coming out of his head. Uh, then we got the whole color, um, which as well only the ornaments glow on the side, but it's still very faint. But we got the usurper uh, nameplate. We got the wheel, which does glow yet again. The eyes. We got the helm decor. And we got the Mars Trophy, Crew Skin, and Fireworks. Now, I'm not going to lie. When we look at this set, you know Wukong has been released. or well, this is Sun Wukong's Glare. So, I do think a lot of people are going to be getting this because they actually love uh, the Wukong game. So, if you want to be Wukong in Skull and Bones, well, now's your chance. Because you've got the game out and you can be Wukong in Skull and Bones. We've also got the Call of Hydra returned at a discounted price um, because we've got 10% off now. Uh, which is really annoying how everything is now discounted and returning when we've obviously paid full price. Uh, but regardless, it is what it is. The Call of Hydra is back if you want to get the full set. We got the... Oh uh, yeah, you know what his name is. I can't pronounce it. But it, it costs 900 gold. It's got a captain emote as well, so you can have him appear and waggle his tail and have a little boogie with you. And then you've got the pet himself. Um, yeah, always encounter good things when this one's by your side. With a name like that, I suppose you do. Uh, yeah, pretty good. Anyway, uh, let's move down. We've got the spawn of Carcinus, which is 1,400 gold. We can see there on the sails, there is no glow. We've got the sail color. We've got the emblem. We've got the sail pattern. We've got the hull color. We have got the uh, limb from limb ornaments, which are pretty darn weird. I don't know what this is. Maybe if someone was to make some sort of, uh, I don't know, Dutchman sort of ship. This might be the set you want for it. Now, this does say emissive, so obviously we can see that it glows blue tips at the end. Uh, it's cool. I would say it's only good if you're going for a crazy Dutchman type ship and you would want to use different colors on the ship and these just to be like the, the crab shell or claw shell or lobster shell, whatever it is on the side. We've got the devil in disguise right here, the emissive. We can see sail color, dress your intent with flashes of fury. Uh, we have got the Devil in Disguise emblem, which is pretty cool. And also, there is a glow on this. Even though it doesn't show that there's a glow, looking at the color there, there is a glow on these sails. Uh, then, obviously, yeah, we've got the emblem, we've got the sail pattern, and we have got the whole color. So if you want a bright, luminous, neon pink on your ship, well, this is the set for you. Right, moving on, we've got the Burnt Metal set, which is 810 gold. If we put nighttime, there is no reactiveness. It's got the sail color. It's got the emblem, it's got the sail pattern, it's got the whole color, and it's got the wheel. Yet again, no reaction. We've got the priestess for 450 gold. So if you like the blue and yellows, well, this is a set for you. It's got sail color, it's got the emblem, it's got the sail pattern, and it's got the whole color, and nothing has got a glow. And then, last but not least, we have got the silver bundle here, guys, that you can buy with silver. And then you get the glowing sails, which is pretty darn cool with everything that you're seeing here, including the gentleman's uh, firework, which is pretty cool. I do like it. Um, yeah, I'm pretty impressed with that silver bundle. That silver bundle is pretty darn good. Also, I do want to mention, if you are to buy gold, make sure you get the seasonal box of gold. A seasonal box of gold does come with a gold steering wheel or wheel. Yeah. And also, the seasonal boatload does come with what you're seeing on the screen. It comes with fireworks in the background. And it comes with a pirate jack crab with a golden skull. So if you want a bigger load, then you can get that. Or you can get both. It's completely up to you. But they are also additional cosmetics. Now, if the Island of Gold did come with an island, I'm sure much many of us would have got it. But it doesn't. So 
Uh, it comes with nothing else, just literally the other bits and bobs. So we are back in the game. Guys, let's quickly just check to see what everything looks like on the ship. Manage ship. Ship cosmetics. Let's go down to the gold so we can see the Call of Hydra there. If you haven't seen it, you've probably seen it a lot of times. There's a Call of Hydra on your ship. There is the Wukongs on your ship. I do think this is a really cool set. Not going to lie, the Wukong, especially on the Sandbook, is a really, really tasteful set. I like that. Then we've got the Flaming Fury ship set, which... That's actually a pretty sick set in it, really. When you look at it on the ship, you see the horns coming through the side, the wings, the, the bones. That's a pretty naughty looking ship. And then, obviously, that is it for the ship. If we go and check out the outfits, uh, so you can see what they look like front and back. Let's go into the vanity atelier. I still want to know what the outfit is outside. The outfit looks pretty cool. Here we are on the inside. Let's talk to the lady. Purchase and equip items. I wonder if we still get the starter or it actually moves in fluidly. No. Oh, my God. It actually moves in fluidly. Guys, they are fixing it quite rapidly. That is pretty darn cool. Right, moving down, we have got... Uh, uh, uh. There's that outfit that's outside. How on earth I forgot? Oh, it's the premium pass outfit. Okay. Yo, that's, that she looks really nice. Anyway, Wukong. This is a the Wukong outfit. I think this looks really cool. Do you know what would be really cool? My Pairing up the Wukong outfit days. with the Claw Hunter set. The, the, this set, which is the Sovereign set. If you could pair the Claw Hunter set up with the Wukong set, you'd probably make a really cool outfit. Even though the Wukong set on a standalone is just fire. And then moving over, we got the Flaming Fury garb set as well. If you turn around on this, you can see it's just a tasteful outfit and there's loads of sparks or ashes coming off of it, which is pretty cool as well. All the little effects. Um, but I do think they're going down something to do with Soul Run on this uh, with the eyes everywhere. Let me know what you think. Like, follow, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.